This is the how-to for the reinforced Ian knot. I also frequently call this a runner's tie because it is the most rugged way to tie something. And that means that it will not shed in paracord. I have full ungutted paracord as my shoelaces. Well, my, sho my actual shoelaces are down here. There. And I actually bought these boots specifically because they're waterproof and because the eyes, right here, the grommets, will take paracord. They're the only boots I could find that were able to do that. So it's win-win. Okay. But using paracord, you need a sturdier knot. And I like a knot that does not come out all day. The process is very similar, in principle, to the bunny ears method of tying your shoes. Okay, so you start as normal. The green side is coming towards us, so it stays in front. And then they both go through. You can kind of ignore the free ends here and it should pull free into that shape. Or if these are reversed, it looks almost entirely identical. Let's flip that around. There we go. And under load, it doesn't move. much more secure. I have never once had one of these come out on me. They take only as much time to tie as your regular shoelace knot did before you learned the Ian knot. And I'm willing to sacrifice the speed if it means that I never have to retie this knot ever again. And if you're a shoes that slip off kind of person, you will never need to retie this but you still get your bow look. And so, if you want to go back, maybe you missed how to tie the regular Ian knot, go ahead and click on the knot right here. If you want to see how this lacing is done, go forward, perhaps in time. Maybe you are one of the few people who is living in the past, in which case, go ahead and hop into your cryo pod and have somebody wake you up in a couple of days, assuming that it doesn't kill you because technology will have advanced by the time that I post this, that that is totally a viable option. Maybe you want to learn how to tie your lace, not tie, lace your shoes slightly differently, in which case you would be clicking over here. Maybe you want to learn about the magic of runner's locks, or lace locks, or locks that go by a bunch of different names, in which case you can go ahead and click right there. And if you're a super special cool person, maybe you want to support me continuing to do this by um, liking the video, or maybe in the distant future they'll have gone back to a five-star rating system. That would be cool. I like star rating systems. In any case, uh, Likes and subscriptions really help me out by raising my ranking in search results, getting me more viewers, so it's a low-effort way of actually doing something. Or, if you're a super special cool person, you could go to my shop and order one of these, which I was totally wearing on this wrist a few seconds ago. Don't back the video up. <laughs> then, all of my many, many paracord item patterns are all quick release, or at least they're faster to untie than your usual cobra knot, which is awful and I will get around to ranting about at some point. If you tie a cobra knot, that, that's bad and you should feel bad. There will be directions, let's say right here in the future, of how to tie something better. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.